Welcome back everyone to my last dream let's play challenge run. I finished fishing, getting pike, tuna, and marlin. So later on, when I get the rest of the synthesis materials, I can synthesize the final fishing pool that I'll be getting. In this uh, video, I'll be going to the Great Southern Marsh to get Callie's Medallion. Then I'll go use Callie's Medallion to enter the sandstorm surrounding the airship in the desert. And after I get the airship, I'll get the class upgrade and probably end the video there. Once you have the airship, it opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. Since you can fly all around the world without increasing your step count. I'll probably uh, finish the Cave of the Mystics and do the arena up to tier 3, maybe 4. Oh, I sailed too far. And I'll probably do all of that off screen because it's tedious. And I, in addition, I will probably fish off screen, but this time I'll be getting the freshwater and the ice fish. I probably could have taken that tunnel. So let's go ahead and uh, reload just to save myself some steps. The only materials I need, I need uh, some shaman tooth for the enigmatic greens, um, and then I need mind flare jaws and one wyvern fang, and I'll get all of that in the arena or the mystic cave.
usually I'll start off the battle carrying poison against the boss. It's uh, really helpful if you have a white mage, you can cure it in one go. And if I wasn't pressed for time, I'd probably have enough materials to get poison rings. Time and steps don't allow you to synthesize the poison rings. Plus, they're only really good for this area. I believe I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. I'll just reload a little bit. It's right up here. Curing poison just before the battle doesn't work. Alright. Let's cross our fingers. Although this time I think I'll put defense on everybody first. For some reason I'm not hearing the music. Oh, there it is. It must be very quiet. weak against. Nothing. Alright. It's nice fighting bosses that are one-dimensional, only physically attacking, or only casting spells. This guy does have the ability to cast vampirism though, which I believe is based off his intelligence, but that's only one attack. This is only hard mode, which is really the the standard difficulty, where all the stats of the monsters are at 100%. On normal, they actually drop, I think, to 75%. Okay, I need a warp stone out of here. Now I'll cure my poison. First time playing through this game, those dungeons seem a lot tougher. Once you know all the tricks and all the inside outs to it, it's a lot simpler, isn't it? Okay, now I'm going to the desert. Way up there? Alright. The desert's probably my least favorite area of the game, just because uh, you you hit one button too many, or the game lags, and you you hit it uh, you know you hit it twice. It happens a lot when the game lags, and uh, or you hit it and it doesn't register, 
And so you hit the button again and you fall off the edge. And every time you fall off the edge, of course, you get stuck down into the underground area and then you have to find your way all the way back through the paths. Also, the monsters are pretty tough and you're permanently blinded. And there's a lot of holes in the ground, some of which are engineering tunnels and some of which are just holes into the underground. It's a fairly confusing area. I went too far again. It's easy to uh, lose yourself on the world map. Let's see, maybe I didn't, there's no dock at the bottom is there? Okay. I'm at 19,270 steps. So I can only, you know, 5,800 more steps. And I need 1,500 of that for the final dungeon. We are nearing the end of our, of our playthrough. It helps if you can get everybody up to level 24, especially the engineer. Uh, does he get no magic at 24 or 25? Or is it 30 even? I don't know. No magic really does help. Although against the final boss it doesn't. Here I switched to using the keyboard because it's a lot more accurate for uh, movements here. I find myself uh, this this directional pad isn't quite as sensitive. Yeah. Everybody loves paralysis. Status effects are one of the reasons why I love monks so much. Early on, they get the ability to become immune to all status effects, which in speedruns can save you a ring. And I'm going to save here. I'm not sure if this is a shortcut. I believe it is. I believe this is the last area we need to go to. I usually don't play with an engineer in the party on uh, even on the speed runs I do I usually do some sort of knight monk black mage white mage combination
you can see right there the difference one potion gives you. And all that magic defense you got on the gear really has a, a noticeable effect. was already cured of blindness. Sometimes when you're trying to speed things up you miss small things. No big deal. Sweet airship. Oh, guess I have to activate the airship first. Thank you for locking that door, game developers. Why giant RPG studios? You didn't have to lock that door. I could have just walked out there and found nothing. But thanks for being merciful. Class upgrade. Okay, nineteen five eighty two. 19582. Oh yeah. Now it's a lot faster getting a class upgrade so you don't have to go through the dragon caves after the airship. Which I thought is a really cool touch. You can get it with the uh, ship after the medallion. But you have to go through a small dungeon first. Or you could wait until you get the airship and then it's easy and it's right there okay so let's level up what was I gonna do next I got that airship awfully fast scan. Now that's good. 10% to attack, defense, intelligence, magic defense. Very good. Lightning reflexes is good. Throwing stars is good, but it won't be on this run. He doesn't have any accuracy. Destroy armor. That's really, really good. Um, Mana surge is useful, but not here. And no magic. I don't know if I'll be able to get that on this run, but and advanced alloys, both are really useful. So now I need to go to the Mystic Caves and to the arena. I will, let's see, I'll cut the video here and I will do only the Mystic Caves and the arena. And once I get the materials, I'll synthesize the last fishing rod and go fishing. 
in all three areas. And I may decide to go grab some more gold. Oh, I know what I should do. I'll show you guys. Uh... Well, I'll do that later. The mines of Devergar. I'm going to go buy my equipment there. I'll go ahead and I'll do that on camera after I do the Mystic Caves. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And later.